British Columbia is home to some of the most diverse agricultural products in Canada. From the traditional family farm to vineyards or fisheries, if you're into eating local foods, you're in luck. I'm Laurie Petrick, dietitian and local food lover. Join me as I visit BC food producers and farmers who are committed to providing fresh local foods that are good for you and good for our earth. One of the things I love about shopping at the UBC Farmer's Market is their farm fresh free range eggs. And when I say fresh, I mean fresh, as the hens that lay these eggs live just down the road. Even though I eat a lot of local food, I've often wondered how local the animals' diets are. To find out, I spoke to Jacob Slosberg, Field Research Coordinator at the UBC Centre for Sustainable Food Systems. Jacob explained to me how the food purchase at farm sales is connected to the increased understanding of a sustainable food system. Well, all the produce that we grow and the eggs as well are sold at the farmer's market. And so that not only uh, pays for the sales, but is also the main research function of the farm is we have a working farm to research on and teach on. About 30% of the operating budget of the poultry project is paid for this year by egg sales. So without that component, we wouldn't be able to complete our research. In addition to conducting research on sustainable food systems, the UBC farm also hosts a variety of adult and children's programs. One of our premier projects is our practicum in sustainable agriculture. We host 10 students for eight months of the growing season, four days a week, uh, for people who want to learn to be new organic growers. And then we also have a program called the Intergenerational Landed Learning Project, where classes come out for one day per week for an entire year, uh, learning to manage a garden with uh, an intergenerational volunteer. Jacob, tell me about the research project that you're doing with the hens here. We're in our third year of trialing free choice feeding uh, with laying hens in an organic system. We're comparing the standard diet, which is a mash or a mixed ration, so it combines the protein, the grains, and the micronutrients all in one feed. It's a complete diet. The other diet that we're trialing is called a free choice diet, which is basically the same components but split up into multiple troughs. So maybe a little bit like a cafeteria style dining. If the weather's colder one day, then they might want to eat more grains. And if they're laying more eggs and it's really hot, they want less grains and more protein. So they get to balance their own diet. The other benefit is to increasing the diversity of our local agro ecosystem. Free choice feeding increases farm biodiversity via an increased demand for local grain and vegetable protein crops. When farmers plant a variety of crops rather than a monocrop, they decrease pest problems and improve the soil's health. This also cuts down on shipping costs and pollutants and provides another income source for local farmers. Currently in the Lower Mainland, we have a lot of chickens laying a lot of eggs. Where does all of their diet come from? The vast majority of the feed fed to chickens, organic and conventional birds, uh, in the Fraser Valley comes from the prairies. So we're eating local by eating uh, chickens and eggs, but the chickens aren't eating local? Not necessarily, no. It sounds like there are a lot of benefits to free choice feeding. What would be the drawbacks? The biggest drawback to free choice feeding is obviously additional management. So that's time dealing with different feedstuffs, and that's also places to store the bulk feed that you'd be buying from local producers. And then obviously the added time spent sourcing your ingredients rather than just making one phone call and getting a delivery of the, the mixed feed. If you'd like to know more about UBC's food sustainability research, head to their website at ubcfarm.ubc.ca. You can also support research by shopping at the UBC Farmer's Market, held every Wednesday and Saturday June through October. For Farm Folk, City Folk, I'm Lori, and this has been Good For You and Good For Our Earth. Mm-hmm.